In this presentation, I'm going to show you the five steps you need to take to improve your emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence is a skill that is used daily in both your personal and professional life. It means that we are aware of our emotions and are able to manage them properly. It is the key to living a healthy, balanced life, and it affects how we handle stress, our mental health, and our relationships with others. Here are five steps that you need to take if you want to improve your emotional intelligence. Step number one, manage and reduce negative emotions. Not only can negative emotions overwhelm us, but they tend to affect our judgment as well. To improve your emotional intelligence, you need to learn to change the way you think about situations. You can effectively avoid negative emotions by considering multiple ways to view situations before you react. Step number two, express your difficult emotions. Difficult emotions will arise despite your best efforts. When it comes to critical emotional problems, it is essential that you can talk openly about the problem. You need to know where you stand on the issue and what your reasonable and acceptable boundaries are. If you are treading on dangerous ground, you need to avoid using sentences that begin with you, especially if those statements are accusatory or judgmental. Step number three, learn to manage your stress levels. Stress-related ailments cause a majority of the visits to doctor's offices these days. Stress is a part of life, and it is essential that you learn how to handle stressful situations in your life. If you know what is causing you stress, figure out a way to reduce or eliminate it. When you are faced with an awkward situation, you need to remind yourself to stay calm and manage your stress levels. Step number four. React to negativity in a positive way. Everyone will encounter unreasonable people in their life. Even those who are typically reasonable have irrational or contrary moments. Before you react negatively, learn to empathize and put yourself in the other person's shoes. Learn to pay attention to both verbal and nonverbal cues. Learning to see the problem from someone else's perspective can help you remember that everyone has issues. Step number five. Bounce back from adversity. Everyone from time to time is faced with adversity. However, you can manage the way you respond to that adversity. Rather than avoiding it, you can ask yourself constructive questions like, How can I learn from this experience? Asking yourself questions will help you gain perspective and move forward. Improving your level of emotional intelligence will benefit you in all aspects of your life. It may take time and patience, but these five steps will help you better manage your emotions and change your life. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.